What's going on everybody, welcome to another Sony Vegas Pro 15 tutorial. It's been a little while since I've made one of these tutorials, but yeah, I'm going to try and be more consistent from now. Getting straight into the video, I'm going to be showing you how to add black bars to videos like you can see on screen. This effect can just give your videos a more cinematic look, and I'm not going to be showing you the proper technique to do this. I'm just going to be showing you a quick, easy way to do this, which I tend to use a lot more than the proper method, just because it is a bit easier and it's a bit faster. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to have well, I, now the first thing you want to do is you want to have your project media imported. So I'm just going to do this here. So here's the clip I want to use. This is just a little free running clip from my main channel. <coughs> cough, cough. Check out my main channel link in the description. But yeah, we'll have the videos. Just quite a short clip of me trying this jump, which I didn't actually do. And once you have your clip. On the timeline you're just gonna right click here you're gonna insert a new video track you're then gonna go to media generators over here and you're gonna look for solid color now I have some extensions on so I have more options than you probably have but if you find solid color it should be just here and then you want to drag on the white above the clip you want to have the black bars once you've got this you can just ignore this window here you can just close it straight away and then you can trim the clip or what I'm just gonna do is split it using the S key and then deleting the end so now it's just above the clip that you want the black bars to be on. Now you'll notice that of course all you can see in the preview is white. What we need to do with this layer is we need to convert it to a mask. So if you click on these three lines here, scroll down to compositing mode and you want to do multiply mask. This is going to turn that white colour into a mask. So whatever on this layer has that white colour is basically going to kind of show through and let you see the layer below. I hope that made sense. <laughs> what you're now going to do is you're going to click on this clip and you're going to click here where you can change the pan and crop. So once you have this window open, you're going to look at the bottom at this sync cursor and you want to click that and make sure that's not enabled. You want to make sure this marker is at the very beginning of the clip so you're on this keyframe. And then there's two ways you can add the black bars. The way I usually do this is I hold control and I click on the top square or bottom square, it doesn't really matter, and I just drag it. And as you can see on the right of the screen, on the preview, it's added black bars. You can adjust these to have any height you want or any size of black bars. And if you go bigger, it'll just kind of crop the window. But I'm going to have mine about there. The other way to do this is to click on this lock aspect ratio button over here. When you click that, you no longer have to hold control and you can just drag it like that. So now that's done, I'm just going to close this. I'm going to go to the beginning of the clip. I'm going to hit space to just play the clip and see what it looks like. Now, one thing you can do... If you feel like some of your footage is being cut off a bit and you want to see some more because of course there is now less of your clip being shown, you can use the pan and crop on the original clip and then if you click and you use the up or down arrow keys you can just manually move that clip and crop it into place. So I'm going to say this is a bit better just so I'm more fully in frame and then I'm going to hit play again. And that looks quite nice. If you do have more clips in your project and you don't want them to have black bars, what you can do is just get another white colour, place it over here, and then make sure the crop on this one is just the default crop. If it's not, just right click and hit restore on the pan and crop, then close that. And then whatever footage you have under this clip is not going to have the black bars, so I'll play it from here just so you can see. Now, this second clip does have a little bit of a black bar at the top, that's just because, of course, I've cropped this before, so I'm just going to restore that. And then if you play it from here again, you can see that doesn't have the black bars. Just in case you need to know how to kind of remove the black bars for other clips. But that is where this video is going to end. Remember, if you want more tutorials, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to try and be more consistent with my uploads. And also, if you're interested in seeing my main content and my free running videos and anything like that, just random vlogs, click on screen. There should be a link to that and there'll also be a link in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.